everyone welcome to my bathroom today i'm going to be doing my skincare routine because it was quite highly requested that you guys wanted to see the products that i use and what i do with my face pretty much hopefully you'll learn a few things along the way i'm going to be using one two three four five six seven seven products maybe eight obviously you don't need to use everything i'm using i've just got a shit ton of skincare and this is just some of the bits that i'm going to be using in this video anyways let me just give you a little close up on what my skin looks like this is going to be a little bit grim not going to lie i don't know if you can see but on here this is some of my seboric dermatitis again around here my eyes are crusty again same thing my chin yep it's all dry it's got a few whiteheads on it at the moment my skin is overall very dry i just thought it was important to include that in this video because i feel like some people sell you like a a dream of that the skin looks great but i mean mine's gonna look great after all this don't get me wrong but it doesn't look great all the time it does need a lot of work done to it so the first product i'm going to use is one of my favorite products ever it's the fresh soy face cleanser i have literally used this for six years now the first time i ever went to america i actually got this free with my clarisonic and i've just absolutely loved it since so this is basically what it looks like it's like a clear gel and it's so so gentle i absolutely adore it honestly i feel like once you use this you'll never ever go back to a shitty cleanser because before this this was like my first high-end cleanser i think i mean is it high-end i think it's like 20 something pounds for that size bottle it's definitely more expensive than the things you get in super drug that's for sure but it is honestly so worth it in my opinion so i'm just massaging this in now i'm gonna add a drop of water onto that oh actually i forgot something well important here i'm gonna include like the flannels and that i'm using i'm adding a little bit more water now i'm gonna make it really milky i make sure that i always massage my cleanser in for at least a good minute because that's how you get the most out of your cleanser if you literally just rub it in for 10 seconds you're not going to get the use out of your cleanser and it's just going to be a massive fat waste on me the first class i need to put you onto are the emma hardy ones i have got absolutely tons of these they are double-sided and on this side it's muslin so this is the side you sort of exfoliate your skin with and on this side it's microfiber so it's gonna cling to your dirt and get rid of it all try not to get my sleeves wet here so that's me sort of done with that at the moment as you can see that's some of my fake tan um going on to that which is fine also just excuse the state of this flannel anyways i mean it has been washed obviously but makeup does tend to stain these which is a little bit of a shame but i mean they can get white again if you just put a little bit of like laundry bleach in your laundry and don't forget to do like under your chin and your neck because your foundation's there everything's there don't forget your neck and chin i'm gonna double cleanse today would i normally do this sometimes i definitely do this if i had a full face on next product i'm using is the declior micellar cleansing oil as you can see i've used half of this and i love this shit the reason why i bought this was because i've seen a massive sort of like trend on um what was it instagram and i needed to see what that trend was all about but it was oil cleansing someone from america she's like a black esthetician is that the word she got this whole thing trending about um the one minute oil cleanse and basically you just need to put some oil preferably like a, a cleansing oil but apparently like even stuff like olive oil does the job 
just make sure it's non comedogenic. Comedogenic. Yeah, because if you use an oil like coconut oil, that will give you blackheads because it actually blocks your pores, which isn't a good situation, is it? So you need to like really, really massage this oil into your skin for a good minute. And apparently, it's not apparently, this does work. So if you massage this oil into your skin for like a minimum of one minute, you'll see some nice plugs coming out of your skin i don't tend to get low basically if you just like massage this into your skin and you feel like sand like grit that is a plug not all of them are black oh look see i've got one here i don't know if that will show though ah uh, no it's not going to show but it's on this finger and it's not wanting to focus this is the problem with this stupid camera. It just doesn't want to focus on things. But anyways, so they'll either be like black because it's like a blackhead that's come out or it'll be like a clearish sort of colour. But yeah, I've definitely got some coming out. Obviously, like if you do this all the time, you're not going to get tons coming out of your skin. But if you do this once every blue moon, I think it's recommended that you do it at least once a week to get good results out of your skin but yeah definitely give that a go if you want to so i've recommended this on my instagram stories before it's the saint tropez exfoliating mitt and some people are going to be like what are you doing exfoliating your face with a mitt well this is the key to good makeup guys i'm not joking you if you follow my sort of skincare journey i used to really 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 badly suffer with my dermatitis my seborrheic dermatitis it really used to kill me i'm not gonna lie that's the main reason why i have to exfoliate my face so much otherwise my face is flaky as hell so i'm just wetting that and if you feel your nose like the bulb of your nose I feel like most people will feel like it's a little bit bumpy with like shit. This is where this comes into play. You will thank me when this is in your basket. I think this is roughly five pounds of my discount code. So I'll leave my discount code here. Buy this shit, pick it up. You won't regret it. So I'm just scrubbing. I mean, I'm not going to scrub my entire face with this. Um, I, you definitely can, but I'm not because I'm just gonna focus on the really shitty areas of my face, which is my nose, forehead, and chin right now, on my eyes. You will have already seen that my eyeballs are crusty and this is also what I clean them with. Obviously you don't need to rub that hard because it will just come off. But let me just show you some of the shit that's come off my nose. This is our dry skin, guys. You need to get on this. Honestly, if you do this in the morning or whenever you're doing your makeup, your makeup will go on so much better. This is how my makeup goes on so, so well. Also, if you've got really dry lips, use this to scrub your lips. God, I could really talk for ages on skincare. Yeah, look at all that. That is skin dead skin i feel like this is turning into more of a tutorial than anything else all right that feels good to me now i'm gonna add water to the mix because my oil cleanser is wow i look right now my oil cleanser is still on my face now if you were to do this without the step i've just included if you put the oil cleanser on then you add water on it would normally go white but you can't really see that. Well, yeah, you can. It's got a little bit white, but it would go whiter if you used it how it's supposed to be used, basically. So I'm wetting my flannel again, and I'm just gonna get rid of all that excess that's on my skin. I'm using the muslin side to just gently exfoliate anything that shouldn't be there. The next product I like to use is this Fresh Sugar Face Polish. This shit's great. Again, I was first introduced to all this stuff when I was in America because they didn't have this stuff in the UK back in the day, but you can now. Just dotting a bit of that on. 
This is a really luxurious, thick brown sugar scrub and I absolutely love it. I don't, I haven't found anything that's better than this to be honest. I'm just gonna rub that everywhere. It's very gritty. The reason why I like this one in particular is because after you use it, it doesn't leave your skin dry or feeling like it's parched. Like it really needs moisture because it actually adds moisture to your skin afterwards. I feel like it leaves a little bit of a film on your face so you like you know that you've used it. Do you know what I mean? It's just really, really good and I would definitely recommend this. I mean, I recommend everything pretty much that I'm using in this video. This is like, in my opinion, the best of the best that I currently have in my skincare collection. I'm just gonna grab my mitt again, give it a bit of a rinse, and then I'm just gonna lightly buff over my skin. I'm literally just gliding this mitt over my skin. I'm not scrubbing it. I'm just letting the products do the work for me. Then I'm going back in with my flannel. I'm just taking everything off. I also want to point out that these products are okay to use on your eyes. I mean, minus the scrub. Don't put the scrub onto your eyeballs because that's not a good situation, is it? Got a nice film on my face now. So I'm feeling very hydrated. I'm just going to give my face just a little bit of a rinse. Okay, so a little tip for you is, is if you've got like really dry eyes, dry lips, dry nose, dry anything, you want to put a bit of Vaseline on your skin first. So before all this bollocks, you want to put some Vaseline on. Put it on really generously and just leave it on and that's gonna just sort of grab all the dry skin and then once you've left it on for say five minutes, one minute, whatever, you just want to exfoliate that off and it'll come right off good little tip so the next product i'm going in with is the pixie milky tonic i've got absolutely tons of these tonics but i'm just using this one today because i'm feeling in the mood for some hydration so i've just put that on a cotton round cotton pad whatever you call them i don't know <laughs> i'm just putting that everywhere I'm also making sure to sort of go into my hairline because Makeup does get in there, and on some people, it can make you spotty, which you don't want, do you? Done. The next product I am using is this Welleda. Don't know how to pronounce it. Welleda Skin Food Moisturiser. Again, I have hyped this up for my stories a few times it's a really really good moisturizer it's specifically for very dry and rough skin they do have a light version of this if you think this is too heavy like this is a very thick moisturizer it kind of smells like a forest like pine trees or something so that is it's very thick if anyone's used that tub Nivea, you know, the classic OG dark blue tub Nivea. Kind of feels like that. Maybe a bit thicker. It's very thick cream. This definitely won't be for everyone. It might give some people the creeps to use this. But anything really thick and moisturising is just right up my street. And this just leaves your skin so so nourished like this is the most thick moisturizing cream i have in my collection i have been asking you a lot if you've used the charlotte tilbury magic cream because i'm kind of interested in that but i'm very very on the fence about it because that cream is so expensive like i think this one is 10 pounds or something like that for 75 mil you can use this for anything you can use this on your lips you can use this on your feet you can use it anything but i use it as a facial moisturizer what was the same with that yeah i'm very very on the fence with it because that cream for the big tub what is it 60 mil is like 75 pounds 75 pounds like you've that's a big sum of money, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so that is my cream all blended in. 
And the last product I'm using is the Pixie Jasmine Oil Blend. I absolutely love Pixie Oils. I'm using this one for a change because if you follow me, you know I've got such a love for Pixie Oils. They're just the best. I specifically really love their Rose Oil. I'm just splatting a little bit of that. God, not my noise. This is so nice. Just ignore the redness because that is where my dermatitis is and it's a little bit flared up now but if you were here to touch it it's smooth like there's no crustiness or anything left on it. Anything left that I've got on my fingers I'm just gonna rub it onto my neck and hands because they age too do you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's the end of my skincare routine hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I do. I can't believe this has taken me like half an hour to film. It's a bit of a long one. I'll link all the products I've used down below. Hopefully you've learned some tips. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I really, really appreciate that. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, bye for now.